today we're going to be testing out the Insta360 Ace Pro. This is Insta360's new flagship camera that is an action cam. So we're going to break this video up into two parts. The first part is going to be the settings that I use and a little bit of overview on the little details of that. And then the second part of the camera is we're going to be testing out some of the features, including the slow motion capabilities, plus so much more. So make sure you stay to the end so you can get my final conclusion of what I think of the Insta360's Ace Pro. Let's go. My name is Tommy Bennett and I've been snowboarding for the last 25 years and for the last 15 years I've been coaching snowboarding and been using a lot of cameras and filming and editing so I definitely have a pretty good sense of what I'm looking for when it comes to cameras and capturing the moment so my goal is to always shoot at the highest resolution possible so luckily this camera does shoot in 8k but sometimes I want to do slow motion and for the most part I'm going to be filming in 120 frames per second now not every single video that I post is going to be slow motion but what's nice about shooting at 120 frames a second especially when it comes to snowboard and action shots I always have the flexibility in the post-processing software that I use Final Cut for those that are wondering I have the ability to slow it down up to about 25% of the original length of the clip. So I can slow it down and get all those really cool shots, especially with the detailed movements if I'm trying to break down a trick. If I can, I do shoot in 8K, but when no one's watching videos in 8K yet, but when you're in the software you could actually zoom in I believe up to four times without losing quality so I had the flexibility of getting some really cool artistic shots more importantly having the flexibility in the post-processing side of things to be creative that's that's one of the sickest parts about this camera is just having the ability to have high resolution videos so when I'm using this camera you're also going to notice how touch sensitive this is in a very good way it's extremely responsive turning this thing on pressing record is instantaneously going to record so I usually just pop it over to video now here's one thing that I just want you to be clear of if you shoot in slow motion there is a slow motion setting in here you will actually not record audio so if you just shoot in video mode and you click this bottom thing right here, it gives you all these super awesome options, which includes 4K and then you swipe bottom uh, over and you're gonna shoot in 120 frames a second. But if you're in video mode, that allows you to have the audio, which, you know, we can hang out, talk vibe, especially for the content that I make includes so much talking that having the audio is obviously gonna be very important. Next, I like shooting in the stabilization that is high because I just want to be able to hand my camera to a buddy and that they can just effortlessly point the camera in my general direction and get the shot we will be testing out the different stabilization options here in a little bit so you can just see the contrast but I like just shooting in the high stabilization just keeps it easy then one of my favorite features of this camera is the ability to pop up this screen and then if I'm taking a video taking a selfie putting it on a tripod I have the ability just to be able to see myself and I can set up the frame appropriately hey I want to shoot in thirds I want to shoot a little bit more leading lines I want to be in the center uh, is my arm far enough away I have all these answers just by looking at myself and one little secret is if I have somebody holding the camera and they're filming me as I talk, I actually like flipping the screen on me so I can verify exactly where the shot is because sometimes people will film it where like all of a sudden you're like heads cut out and you're shooting like way down here and it just doesn't look sick. So try to do your best to just get the shot to look as clean as possible. Now let's dive into testing out the stabilization and the slow motion. Let's go. First, we're gonna be looking at the 4K 120 frames a second shots. As you can see here, it looks pretty darn crisp and it's keeping its high quality resolution even at 120 frames per second. And I did slow this down in Final Cut about four times to get this slow motion capabilities. Now the next test that I wanted to compare was the footage at 1080, but we're shooting in 240 frames per second. This means that we can slow the footage down 10 times. How incredible. I also love the fact that you can slow it down to get every little detail of what's happening. 
I also wanted to compare the shots between what it would be slowed down four times like here and then this is the 10 times slower. So just a cool comparison to show how much detail you can really see when you add more frames per second. All right, now we got my buddy Joey here. He's gonna be dropping in. We're still in 4K 120, but this time we're gonna be testing the stabilization. I'm gonna do four tests and I'm gonna physically run behind him and we're gonna start with no stabilization, low stabilized, medium stabilized, and high stabilization and we'll compare them and see how it goes. Starting off with no stabilization, you can definitely tell the footage is quite shaky, but this could be really awesome if you're trying to get a very dramatic scene such as a horror movie or showing how wild something is. So definitely a cool option. Next one, we're going to be adding low stabilization. You can definitely see the dramatic difference between the last one. Still a little shaky, but significantly better. Test number three is going to be the standard mode for stabilization. And holy cow, how dramatically different is this? And like I said, I'm literally just running behind Joey. So cool. Now let's dive into the highest stabilization possible with this camera and you can dramatically see a difference. So if you're riding in chop, chunder, or running behind somebody, I highly suggest using this setting. One of the biggest questions that you might have about this camera is how well does the battery actually work? Now I'm proud to say that I've tested this camera at negative three degrees with the standard battery that comes with it and it absolutely functions without a problem. Now I have dealt with some of the other action cameras where the battery doesn't even function at 35 degrees. So having a battery that will work in negative degree temperature has been such a blessing because it's so frustrating when you're just trying to get the shot, capture the moment, and you're unable to. So this thing has been super awesome. And as a bonus, one of the cool things about this camera is if you plug it in, in 22 minutes, you can charge the battery up to 80%. So you go for a quick hot chocolate, you go for a quick break, you plug your camera in and you you can get such good results by just plugging it in for 20 minutes. So that has been a nice little blessing. So overall, the battery has been super awesome and you definitely don't have to worry about the battery at all when it comes to the Ace Pro. And the cool thing is if you get this accessory, you can literally just unpop it and it has a magnet and these little feet. So you can go vertical effortlessly, boom, lock it in. Now you can do vertical content or go back to horizontal just like that, boom. Not a big deal. And if you're really looking for high quality, look at this lens. This lens is from Leica, meaning it's gonna be super crisp, super clear, especially in different lighting situations. When we're skiing or snowboarding, it's definitely gonna get low light, it's gonna be sunny, but it's gonna be crisp literally at all times. Look how sick this jacket looks, super crisp. And if you're interested in picking up the Insta360 Ace Pro, and if you use the link that's in the top right corner or down in the description, you're gonna get this free snow bundle. And on that, know if you're digging this style of content definitely let me know by liking the video comment down below what are your thoughts about the insta 360 ace pro and i post videos all the time so definitely follow because my goal is to make you as awesome as possible and by follow of course i mean subscribe